Java Taylor from Genentech and uh, I mean there's I think I don't know you know when people think about Genentech I think they think really of just the research right. but there's so much more here you know we have a big business component commercial component sales component a legal component right. So I'm the senior supervisor of pathology, excuse me, of the anatomic pathology core labs within the Department of Pathology. Um, I have the necropsy lab, the clinical pathology lab, histology, and the laser caption mic microdissection labs under me. What we do is we analyze samples from research and early development, and we also analyze samples from clinical trials. We just got a chance to take a tour of the lab, but unfortunately we can't film that. So could you just go over some of the exciting technologies that we saw and how they kind of expedite the research that you're doing? Sure. Well, um, histology involves um, fixing tissue. You can, al you can also use frozen tissue, but fixing tissue um, for microscopic evaluation. And what that involves is after the tissue has been fixed, it goes through a series of dehydrants clearance and then it's infiltrated with paraffin and after the processing has been completed um, the tissue gets further embedded in the paraffin and it's prepared to be sectioned on a microtome and microtome can cut paraffin sections as thin as two microns um, once the sections have been picked up on slides they're stained on an auto stainer with hematoxylin and eosin hematoxylin is our nucleic stain and the eosin stains all the other tissue components. The technologists in the laboratory, after the tissues have been stained, are responsible for set for excuse me, they're responsible for um, checking their slides under the microscope to make sure that the tissues requested by the pathologist have actually been captured before they send them to the pathologist. Um, the techs cut about 250,000 slides per year. Yeah. Um, so do you know about Herceptin? Yes. It was, um, it's a breast yeah, cancer drug, mm -hmm. so... We've actually learned about yeah, that. Oh, did yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> so I did a lot of the initial work to select the antibody that oh, was really? humanized okay. for Herceptin, or to become Herceptin. Um, I did tissue binding studies looking at four or five different clones of the mouse monoclonal antibody. Wow. And the one that was selected, 4D5 clone, was humanized. So all that research occurred here, wow. It occurred <laughs> here, and I'm proud to say I did a lot oh, of it. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I know that was fast-tracked. I think the FDA, we have a very good relationship with the FDA, so the FDA can fast-track some compounds, okay. mm -hmm. you know, if there's an unmet need out there. Right. And there was for... Um, for her two negative women, okay, you know who had breast cancer, right? right. There's actually a drug or a compound that we're looking at, um, and I can say it because another company is oh, <laughs> working on it. It's called NOV 1.7, okay. and it's being um, looked at for pain, for pain management, um, and it looks pretty promising. So we've actually done some mouse work on NOV 1.7 as well as some rat work, and everything looks promising. It looks like it's going into early development. Well, thank you again. You're welcome. Yes. You're welcome. So nice meeting you. Good meeting thank you, you too. Thank you, thank you very much for coming out this evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're fucked too kind. Hold your applause.